Hey everyone, it's Christine. Welcome back to Paranormal TV. Today I am recapping the second episode of The Ghost Files, which is pretty exciting because this episode was exciting. I thought it was exciting. You guys probably are like, well, it was cool, but it wasn't that exciting. But it was exciting for me because I feel like I caught good evidence. We went into the graveyard and, um, oh my goodness, guys, we have been into that graveyard more times than I can count. We've cut through it just to cut through it to get to our house quicker, or we've investigated in there quite a bit also there is an open field it's like um Natasha's house the open field and then to the left it's the graveyard so we sat in the open field and we've watched meteor showers and stuff like that because that's one of the better places in our neighborhood to watch it we live in an urban city or something we've been there so many times and I've never felt afraid once never once have I felt afraid in that graveyard. We get in there and I we sit down we start doing an investigation. I start to feel nervous which is weird. And I didn't say anything so I'm like girl get it together what are you doing why are you feeling nervous because I am a little bit of a skeptic and I even question what I see in the evidence I catch. So I was like mm. and all of a sudden out of the corner of my eye I thought I saw somebody. Natasha and I were talking about a noise that we heard I kept feeling like I heard a noise in the distance and we looked over she heard it too she actually said over there right and i didn't tell her where i heard it we're looking over there and i thought i saw a person just like walking by and it was pretty far so i thought it was a person i thought it was like a dark shadow of her so i'm like wait someone's over there right she's like no no one's here we checked and um we always check so I was like, are, are you sure? She's like, yeah, no one's there. I was like, I thought I saw somebody walking. And then I turned my head to look at her. And then I thought I saw it a little further down. And I turned her back again. I was like, what? So I kept seeing things out of the corner of my eye. At first, I thought maybe it was a reflection off the tombstone because that can happen. So I was kind of dismissing it. But it happened several times. And that's when I started thinking maybe, maybe it's something more. We were sitting there and eventually we both just got this terrible feeling. I told her, I was like, I feel really, I feel really nervous. Like I, I don't want to be here. My heart started pounding actually. And I just felt like I shouldn't be there. So we got a little freaked out and we decided to move further down. And I think you can kind of hear the panic in my voice. Um, so we're trying to investigated a little bit more and then we thought we both saw something in the same direction i saw it at the corner of my eye natasha saw it head on she said that she saw a figure and then it just wasn't there anymore and then i said okay well let's just take pictures and leave because i feel awful about being here i was like i feel a little bit better over here like further away from where we were to begin with but i still feel pretty bad about being in the graveyard so we took pictures and then we left and I actually caught orbs in multiple pictures and again this was a few months ago so it was a little bit chillier there were only worm bugs around and then I caught this picture I thought that this big round orb was I originally thought it was a bush that's in the graveyard that I even passed when I was filming I realized that I took this picture on the opposite end of the graveyard so that ruled out the bush there was also this picture with this bigger orb that I actually kind of didn't notice this bigger orb until later so here's that picture right now then we went back into the graveyard and oh my goodness gracious guys I go into the graveyard and I kid you not, I kid you not, this happened. I heard a voice right in my ear and I wasn't expecting to hear a voice so I didn't listen to what it was saying. I just automatically freaked out because I was already nervous. My nerves were already pretty high and then I heard that voice and I got scared. And I turned off my camera. I don't know why. It was an instinct to turn it off. Yes, my instinct was to just like leave quickly and I pressed the button on my camera to turn it off. And I told Natasha we decided we're gonna keep on chugging. We're gonna keep on going even though I'm terrified right now. And Natasha was still pretty nervous as well. She looked around the graveyard and we didn't see anybody there, any cars there or anything like that. However, there was a secluded part of the graveyard. We couldn't really see too well there, but it didn't look like anyone was there. Black car parked 
in that secluded part so it kind of blended in all the lights were out there were people in the car but all the lights were out and we didn't even notice that that was there but we just kept feeling really nervous and then I kept hearing voices that are very close to me but nobody was actually around me I just got this dreaded feeling over me and I said it's in the video I said all right we're leaving we start to leave and I didn't even notice but a car is following us and Tasha noticed she was oh, there's a car so we start to leave quickly so at this point she has the camera and I have the recorder she turned off the camera and we start to leave very quickly we were running actually and the recorder is in my hand because the recorder is actually my phone so I didn't bother to shut it off because I had my phone in my hand and I just kept going the recorder was still running and we caught two EVPs that night. We caught one that said William because I was reading a tombstone and I was reading and I said William and there's a second voice saying William and it sounds like a female. It was a family grave. Their names were Elizabeth. My middle name's Elizabeth. The last EVP we caught as we were running away from the car because it was following us and it said car. It's definitely not one of us. I close to my recorder and Natasha wasn't that close to my recorder. I think it kind of sounds like a male's voice, but I'm not 100% positive. So I mean, it could be female, but it kind of sounded like male. If you guys want to watch the video, it will be linked below. It's also linked in the cards and I will see you in my next video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you thought of the evidence that we caught and I'll see you later. Bye.